Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to iMedia TV. I'm your host, from my TV today. And today, welcome back to Late Night News. Our top story of the day is some more reporting on the aftermath of the hurricanes in Florida. But first, our top headlines of the day. Firstly, Catholic Church payouts for clergy abuse top $1.5 billion with new record settlement. Texas prepares first U.S. execution tied to shaken baby syndrome death. J.D. Vance says no, he does not think Trump lost in 2020. And on to our main story of the day, if you wanted to see more about any of the stories that we touched on today, check out our YouTube Shorts feed, or if you want to read them yourself, check out the article channel in our Discord. Florida homeowners fear soaring insurance costs after hurricanes. Premiums skyrocket after four hurricanes in four years, two in you know the last few weeks. Average homeowner premiums up 60% since 2019, and price hikes by reinsurers will apply more pressure. In January, Jim Tanian's Allstate subsidiary told him he, it was going to drop if he called 10 different agencies and no one would cover him. Finally, he found one that would, and it would cost 50% more. Florida has been hit with four major hurricanes in the past four years, and sent insurance premiums rocketing, causing some insurers to pull back on coverage. For residents cleaning up after storms or living nearby water, they have a worry. Will they still have insurance? Probably not, because you have to remember, flood insurance is, is subsidized by the government. And, you know, in that, you know, usually people with beachfront property are usually wealthy. Like, flood insurance is a subsidy of, like, non-wealthy people for wealthy people. Now, I'm not saying that every wealthy person has beachfront property, but let's be so fucking for real, the property values of beachfront property are fucking insane. I've been to Anna Marie Island in Florida. Those houses are millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars, and, they're, and even if they look dinky as shit, the location, location, location. Regardless, the point is, is, is that I remember there being a huge, like, reported exodus in, in conservative media talking about, oh, everybody's moving to Florida, everybody's moving to Texas. I can't really speak for Texas. Texas has its own fucking issues, and certainly better in certain regards. But I know that Florida people, like, like the people are, are desperately trying to sell their homes. The market is scuffed. My ex-girlfriend's, you know, grandfather would flip houses in Florida, and he had to stop investing in stuff down there because simply for the fact that it just the market was shit nobody like everybody was trying to leave florida because of the high insurance premiums and you know they got tired of getting you know hit by hurricanes and shit also you know the state isn't isn't really amenable to like living unless you are wealthy it, it, it's, it's rough to make a go of it down there unless you if, especially if you're by yourself so uh, this is not absolutely not surprising to me um i think that you know, eventually, like Florida is eventually going to be underwater if climate change continues to go the way we think it's going. And uh, yeah, this it's just, you know, I think the days of like Florida be having like cheap land and like people and not even just cheap land, but it's not even really cheap anymore. Just like people wanting to flock down there is kind of over, you know, you know, it is Florida. It is beautiful. But like, I think with, after all of the weird shit that Ron DeSantis has been doing, as well as all of the, you know, negative environmental consequences of those policies at least on a national and international scale you know this is to be expected like you know florida is not going to get better it's only going to get worse from here and you know all of these boomers and you know that live there or fly down south for the are just going to have to end up probably moving somewhere else they'll probably end up moving to texas they're going to miss the, like because god knows that weird old people don't want to like live in a state where oh black people get Black people exist, you know, so it's like, it's whatever, huh? you, regardless. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, Please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.